Hey, hey, hey. Come on in. Sunday night. Time to focus our energy for the week. Yes, come on in. It has been an intense week and we have more to come. So come on in and join me. Terry Ann Hyman here with the Empowered Spirit Circle on Facebook and Natural Forces Studio. Come on in and join me. So much to talk about. Energy is building out there. It's definitely building. I'm sure you've probably heard, and if not, let me tell you. Full blue blood moon eclipse all coming up this week, and the energy is all building. What does that mean for you? Come on in. We're going to talk about it. We're going to center our energies, look at how the week is going to unfold, and understand a little bit more about what you can do to harness this energy coming up for this week. Yes, come on in and join me. Hey, Amy, say hello. Give me a thumbs up, just little, little sage, just to kind of help bring all that energy in. I know it's been an intense week for me. Has it been for you? Let me know how it's been for you. What have you noticed? I know for me, I've had to take a break. I've had to slow down. I've actually had to even listen to my own advice, go to the acupuncturist, get a treatment, really, really taking some time for me to regroup. Very important. What about you? Have you noticed that for yourself? Can you feel this energy building? I can. I can definitely feel it. And that's what actually we're going to talk about tonight. So I'm going to go ahead and share this out. If you'll do the same, I'd appreciate it. Share it. Maybe somebody else you know needs a little of inspiration, needs a little centering. So important right now as we move into this high intense week. Energy is building. I know I can feel it. We're going to talk a little bit about what that feels like for all of us. So come on in and share this with me. Come on in and take some time. Let me know if you are feeling this energy. I would really like to know how you're doing how you're coping with it. Is this something that you notice for yourself? Moon is building. The eclipse is building. Hey, Lori, how are you? Lori can tell us more about that too. Definitely lots of energy going forward. Yes, I know for me it's a lot. I really do. And I really am grateful for my practice. I'm really grateful for the ability to slow down, to spend some time really clearing out that nervous system. Hey, Brett, how are you? I got a thumbs up on that one. What about yourself? What do you notice? I know for me, when I get a little bit too much stress in my nervous system, I have trouble sitting still. I have trouble really clearing out. I even noticed this last week, I was really pushing my yoga practice, my breath, which was really kind of compounding the problem, not helping it. That's for sure. Definitely. Hey there, Brett. How's everything down there where you are? Are you feeling that full moon building? We're definitely going to see that energy begin to build. There is so much going on. Longest lunar month right of the year practically two full moons super moon being that it's the closeness to the earth all right we've got that eclipse coming in as well eclipse like to shake things up we've also got this full moon coming in in i believe it's leo which really gives us a little bit of that roar energy but with the eclipse and the blue and that blood all that energy coming all together there really can be a little bit of like too much emotional energy, making us really look at that part of ourselves. Lots of times when we have that Leo energy, we feel a little bit like excited and out there, but some of the energy coming in with this is going to really help us to really kind of slow down a little bit. We're going to need to because it is going to challenge our self-worth. We're going to start looking a little bit of that, some of that doubting ourself energy. So we have to really be clear and really be able to get into that vibration, which means slow down, which means meditate, run your rake energy do all those practices that we're constantly talking about really taking this time to really check in with yourself when you do when you do check in you're going to be able to really kind of move forward a little bit better you're going to be able to have the power if you align with it to transform some of those core beliefs about yourself we don't need to carry them we've been talking about this talking about this talking about this. now we're going to really feel it yes laurie says hey sean see you there too right you guys know this right give me a thumbs up on that one when we tap in when we're aware of where this energy hits for us then we can make these choices and these changes it's like the universe kind of like opens up and pushes us towards doing it stepping up transmitting fear into courage right that lion energy roar 
fear into courage really big hey 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 i got some thumbs up on that yay definitely the universe is really asking us to reckon with those persistent demons do you have them I know I do. I know I do. And I know this week has been a week where I've had to really slow down, took a long weekend, take a step back. Really? Oh my gosh. So important. Slow down. That's where we're going to find that power. Not by speeding up, not by trying to push too hard. Again, I go back to my word for this year. Allow. Allow yourself to come into this alignment as we move through this week. So much going on as we open up. Right? Last week of the month, lunar going on like crazy cosmic events. Right, Laurie? I know you know that. So the more we slow down, the more we can align with that energy of what we're feeling, the more we really have that power to make those transformations that we need. Universe wants us to, right? Universe wants to help us get to that next step. We're the ones that kind of fight it. We're the ones that kind of get in the way, right? Those limited beliefs. I can't do this. I'm afraid to do that. I know the feeling, but take a breath. I also know the feeling of when we just do it, just step on that edge, open up to the energy, do it afraid, a little bit afraid. That's okay. That's that power in that third chakra, right? Then we can open up and really live that power within us, live our purpose, live our leadership, help others. Really important right now that we step up to the plate to help others do the same. We need it. We really do. You know, this week in my Empowered Spirit show where the episode airs on Wednesday, we're going to be talking to Rennie Rooster. She's a really fun great gal that come back to Birmingham she really talks about her vulnerabilities and that's exactly the energy we're talking about right now where are you vulnerable right where are you hiding out and where can you use the power of your spiritual practice to transform that energy for you when we face those vulnerabilities Oh my gosh, we open up to so much. We really do. We open up to the lessons. We open up to the bigger picture and to that depth within our soul. That's what spiritual work is, right? The expiration of that connection. When we open up to that vulnerable part of who we are, we learn, we grow. So be sure to check out that episode airing on Wednesday with Rennie Rooster. Very, very interesting talking about how yoga and meditation really really saved her life. It really did. It really did. And we have the power of that energy to come forward. Hey, Andrea, how are you? We really do. When they have this energy of the alignment, these eclipses, the way the moon and the sun and the earth, the way they all line up. And really too, I mean, it's not like the moon's going to look blue, right? If anything, it may look a little red because of the way the intersection of the past go and the way the rays of energy come out. But we have this alignment, right? When it comes forward, it's like a little shift. <laughs> That's how I think of it, right? A little shift to come forward, to shift your energy and alignment too. Where are you out of balance? Whack, push it back in. Where are you not listening to yourself? Whack, <laughs> push it back in, right? Like kind of a whack on the side of the head. And I know, I know, I know, I'll be really honest. This was a week for me to do that. This was a really week of just really... <sighs> I don't know, realigning with myself in preparation, feeling this energy coming in. Hey, hey, thanks. Anyway, it really is intense, and I do know that when we slow down, we can find the ability to go deeper and deeper into ourselves. Our emotions are heightened, right? That's what the full moon does, all that excess energy, pulling on the energy of the water, the emotions, the spiritual energy. We're going to be feeling that this week. We definitely are. There's no doubt about it. And I know for me, I'm super sensitive, so I know for me, doing this practice, doing this work, slowing down is one of the best ways to get through this time. It really is. So we do all of our usual practices that we do during the full moon, but this one especially. You want to put your body, you want to put your bowl of water outside. You want to charge your crystals. Bring in that power of the alignment of all the planets, all this cosmic energy at this time, especially when it's asking us to open up to the bigger part of who we are. And that's what's been happening ever since we moved into the beginning of January. Planets are going direct. Our energy is moving forward. Yes, we need this push and we need that vibration. Raise it up a little bit so that we can move beyond some of these things that we have going on. So much going on, so much energy out there. I know that Laurie, Laurie posted her blog today. Read it, check it out. I posted a Vedic Astrology one too. There's a little bit in there in the Vedic Astrology about that snake energy, about that blood snake energy lining. That's about transformation, all right? We don't wanna stay in the same place. Everything changes, nothing stays the same. 
Why not use the force to move forward? Why not open up, shed a skin to the bigger part of who you are? And interesting that it's coming right here at the beginning of the year. We've had a lot of influences right as the year opened up. Good chance to change these things, right? To realign with those, maybe those intentions that you set, maybe the resolutions, whatever you want to call them for you. Maybe that visioning of your, your, your life, your goals for this year. Bring it forward. That's exactly what we want to do. Realign with that energy. Definitely really big. Sometimes we don't always know our answers, right? We don't always know which way we're going to go or how we're going to get there. But if we don't make that first attempt to get out there, we stay stuck. We stay lost. So this opportunity right now, all these events coming in, is really going to be quite helpful. So as we go through our work week, tomorrow we're going to feel it. We're going to feel that pull start. And even Tuesday, we're going to start to really feel that disturbance a little bit. Maybe you want to call it that, the emotional body. So be careful of your actions. Be careful of your words, how you interact with people. You may notice your sleep again, getting a little disruptive. I've actually been sleeping really good. So I'm hoping that I can just continue right through. I know that's part of me slowing down. That really helps my sleep patterns as well. Wednesday is when the energy comes in, that full moon energy comes in. So we're going to start to feel it a little bit more on Wednesday, a little bit of that intensity. And again, the best thing to do is just kind of tune into yourself a little bit more, right? Try to be careful of all that reacting energy. Think before you speak, all that kind of energy going on. Don't roar too loud and really be able to open up to that kind of feeling. Then as we get through Wednesday, Thursday and Friday, we're going to see that little bit more of the ability to ground a little bit, to be more productive in our work week, all right? So just know as you start out tomorrow, can be a little bit feeling that tension building. Tuesday the same, Wednesday is when we really have that big light. So try to find some time on Wednesday especially to just take a moment and as that energy builds, like put out your greatest intention because then we start to release the excess after that. But spend some time aligning with the energy. Put your crystals all around your room. Put them outside if you can. Bring in the charge of that. Put some water out. Whatever ritual really that you like to do for the full moon, this is really the time to really emphasize that for yourself. We don't really have a name for this moon because it's the second one, so that's why you're going to see it. Blue, blood, moon, eclipse. You're going to see all of those things for it. It's really kind of interesting when we have all of this come forward, when we have the alignment of the cosmos really just helping us to do our work. So what does it mean for you? Let us know. Let us know how you're able to deal with this too. What is something that you like to do? Give me a comment below. What do you like to do for the full moon to help you through some of that energy? All right? What's a good thing that you like to know? I'd really love to hear that. All right? I know for myself, I have to express my truth. I do a little bit of extra journaling. Do a little bit of aligning with my crystals. They always seem to like comfort me, right? They really do. So allow yourself to really fill up on that energy as you move through this week. All right? So we're going to take a moment. And just center our energies before we go to the cards. If you didn't have a chance to draw the card, pick a number. We're drawing from the Good Tarot. I love this. Colette Baron reads Good Tarot. Some really beautiful cards. Pick a number one through three, and we'll come back to those in a moment. So wherever you are, take a nice deep inhale. And exhale away, centering the energy. Let me light a little more sage. Exhaling away, inhaling, and exhaling, sending that breath all the way down. Begin to align the body, calling back all your energy from the week, from the weekend, pulling it in. Begin to align the spiritual body with the physical body, shoulders, hips, feet. Feel that connection to the earth as you take a nice deep inhale. And exhale. So call in. Call in Divine Spirit. Call in all those cosmic elements. Call in your own spiritual guide. Ask to be protected, to be guided as you open up to this week. All for the highest good. Allow the light of the moon to shine on any of those darknesses within you. To release those limiting beliefs. To open up to a greater truth and depth of who you are right now, right here at the beginning of this beautiful new year. Inhaling and exhaling. And just drop the awareness right into the heart. 
exhale, open up that heart, breathing in, sending it out in front. And as you exhale, just pull it all the way back behind. Coming back into the heart and just taking a moment, all of us together, offering gratitude. Gratitude for all the many things in your life, good, bad, or indifferent. Gratitude helps us to raise our vibration, raise it up against some of that darkness that we may feel right now in this season of winter. Sometimes we get a little dark, a little depressed. I found that's from being a little bit overwhelmed too, right? I know that's what I've been dealing with this last week. Too much going on, slow down. Offer gratitude for those lessons. Gratitude for the ability to notice where you are right now. Inhaling. And exhaling, pulling the energy in. Feel that connection with your heart. Opening up to love. Opening up to the self-love with gratitude. Inhaling. Calling in your higher guidance. As you move through this week, exhaling, feeling that connection to Mother Earth. And just for a moment, imagine that beautiful moon above you. It's getting bigger out there. And imagine it just shining all that beautiful light down on you. Feel the alignment. Notice where you are in this universe with the cosmos, with Mother Earth. A little speck out there, but yes, you are a part of this cosmic universe we all are. Inhaling and exhaling, bringing the awareness back, just feeling that beautiful, peaceful energy in the heart, keeping that energy all around you as we go to look at the energy of the cards. Asking for the guidance for this week, how can we best deal with this energy of this full moon eclipse? So if you chose card number one, we had a few, mostly people seem to have drawn two and three. But the first card that comes up, beautiful card, Five of Fire. All right, so this card is about that passion. All of those many things out there. Fives do represent a little change. Look, she even has red hair. Look at the wings. Look at all those things up there. All that spiritual energy coming forward. All those new desires and passions. Open up to them right now. Don't let yourself be limited, all right? That fire energy helps to bring that passion forward. What is it you want to do this year? Dream. This is all about the energy of dreaming right now here in this winter season. This is a beautiful time to do this. And as that moon gets fuller and fuller, continue to dream and vision. That's what, exactly what we're about. We don't have to have the answers. Again, we don't need those answers. We can really open up to our imagination, our fire energy, the passions. What would you desire? Right now, if you could have anything, what is that for you? Sometimes that's hard to answer. Can you answer that right now? All right. So if you drew number two, if you chose number two, we have another fire. I mean, another five. How about that? Five of air. All right. So this card represents a little bit more conflict. All right. There's a lot of opposing ideas going on out there, but the card helps to remind us, I love this because she looks so peaceful, right? She's standing on point. Look at the birds around her. Sometimes we have different opinions. We just do. We see things differently. And you know what? That is okay, my friend. So if you drew this card and you've been struggling with a lot of different opinions or have different thoughts that are different than everybody else, that's okay. That's okay. Balance on that. Look how she balances in point. Look at that. That's okay. Do a dance. Celebrate that you do have different ideas. It's okay. All right? Sometimes conflict is okay. That's how we grow. All right? You don't have to sell yourself short. All right? So if that's the card it is for you, where are those thoughts different? See if you can embrace them instead of being conflicted by them. All right? Now, the third card, if you chose number three, I love this card. We have picked it before. King of Earth. I just love it. This is about being that spiritual leader. This is about knowing your path, being a leader, taking all of your... Your skills, your talents, and bringing them forward. That connection with the earth. This is a master of energy. Definitely that. Really, look at the horns on him. Look at his crown. Peaceful. Really good energy here. Really good connecting with Mother Earth. Be that leader. Be that spiritual guide for others. Be that service to the world for yourself and for everybody else. Exact alignment of what all this energy is about. Really exact alignment. We have to step up to the path to live in this card. All right? But so important right now. And I really, really encourage you to do that. I support you in doing that. Yes, John, I know you drew that. There you go, man. 
Absolutely. So a really beautiful card as we move forward in all of this really crazy master energy coming at us. We're still in that master 11 year, so perfect alignment. Now the card that's kind of universal for all of us, which really influences us right now, is a really great card too, the Seven of Water. This is perfect card for the winter. All that dreaming energy, all that imagination, all that spiritual energy that is all around us. Look at that. Look, she's in the water. Look at all of these things above. Now, sometimes it could be a little bit like too much going on, but I feel really right now the influences of what is going on in the universe. This is what's allowing us to dream right now because we are in winter. We don't have to plant any seeds in the physical form. Right now, we can just keep dreaming and dreaming and bringing all of that in and creating all of that energy that come spring we'll be able to follow through with. But right now, Allow yourself to dream. Allow yourself to bring in that light of the moon as it builds this week. What are those things for you? Journal, write them down. What are they? Can you come up with 10? Can you come up with 20 new ideas, new thoughts, new things to empower your life to move forward? And how do we do this? If we bring all the cards in together now, we do this by using that ability to bring the passions forward, right? Get out of the head, go into there. And if you get in the head, to know that it's okay with the mental processes of what we go through to have different opinions. Just find that peaceful energy. Look at those peace doves. Find the peaceful way to deal with the differences of who you are. And then, of course, this card is to be a master. To be a master of dreaming right now because your work will come forward. It really will. So just keep dreaming and bringing it all in. I love the winter for that reason, but we also have to slow down. And I know for myself, it's very important. That's exactly what I went through this week. I had to slow down in my dream have been better. I'm feeling better. I feel like I've put space back into my life. All right. And you could do the same thing. You really can. All right. I got some thumbs up there. I got some wows. All right. Hi, Thelma. How are you? Hi, Laura. How are you? Look forward to seeing you this weekend. Yes, this weekend we have a guest teacher coming in from California. Her name is Moni Clark. She's going to be teaching us aroma touch techniques. Friday, we're just going to have a meet and greet and do a meditation with the emotional blends, make some bath salts. Saturday is the full training. Definitely find that information on uh, Facebook. And also Sunday, if you are a part of doTERRA or want to learn more about doTERRA, she's going to go over how to work with the membership and how to really use our membership to the best of our ability. So that's this weekend. Definitely. Laura, I saw you there. That's what reminded me of it. Yeah. All right, so I'll take a few moments. Anybody have any questions, any comments? If you want a card, let me know. These are all beautiful. They really are weaving into the energy of dreaming, winter, being a master of your energy. Even if you feel in conflict with some of the things going on right now, that's okay. It's okay. Just find the peaceful energy underneath it. Very important to do that. I'm just going to check and see. All right, Thelma, you asked for a card. And Amy, you asked for a card too. All right, here we go. So Thelma, this is for you. This is of nine of waters. All right, so nine, nines are about almost completion. So there is something brewing for you, yes? And this is the opportunity for you to really bring it into the rest of where it needs to be. So use the energy of the moon to finish up on whatever those dreams are for you. Something you're working on, something you've been thinking about. Maybe since the beginning of a year, all right? So see if you can bring in a little bit more of that energy. Nines are like almost complete, but not quite. So there is still a little bit more energy that you can deal with this project, with these emotional energy, even spiritual. Lots of times the water energy can be our spiritual energy. So whatever it is for you, use the full moon to really help you to bring more energy and more information in about it, more feelings and emotions. All right, Amy, card for you. Nine of air, another nine. All right, Amy, so there's something going on that you've been thinking about, you're working on, lots of in the air. And again, the same thing with the nines, almost complete. So there's still a little more that needs to fill in with these ideas that you've been formulating. Does that make sense for you? So look how beautiful she is out there. Again, those birds are around, calm the mind. All right, but bring in the other parts of that as that moon gets full. What is else? What else is needed for you right now to bring that forward for you as well? All right, all right, Brett. Let's see what goes. Amy says bingo. Thelma says thanks a bunch. All right, so Brett, this one is a messenger of Earth. All right, so this is all about looking for those messages from the earth. If you feel a little lost or concerned right now, what's going on, now's the perfect time to really slow down and tap into the universe and bring those messages forward, all right? And you also become a message for other people, 
All right, use your energy, use your skills to get out there and really help people do this kind of work as well. Align with their higher good. That's what this card is about. Look for the messages and also be able to bring those messages out into the world. I really love it. She's got these really delicate, see that? See her crown, see her, her what do you call them, horns? Look how pretty they are. She's of the earth, right? So really be sure to get outside, use the energy going on that we have coming forward to really align with that energy. All right, definitely. All right, got some good cards coming up. Sean, you're happy with yours? I don't see any more questions. All right, anybody else? Just going to check my notes here. I had so many notes on what else I wanted to say, making sure that I've got all of this information going forward for you. All right. King of Earth. Yes. All right. So again, just knowing that as this energy comes in, really take it in. It's rare. It doesn't happen all the time. So where can you make the shifts for yourself? All right, put your crystals out, be prepared, be careful Monday, Tuesday as you go into the work week, careful of your words, careful of those relationships, really think before you speak, Wednesday we're going to really feel it, and then Thursday and Friday you can get more done, prepare to get your work out there, really, our emotions are going to be heightened, right, what is emotions but energy and motion, all right, that's what the moon does for us. All right, be sure to slow down, find some time for yourself, express your truth, and just let the rest go. Rest, relax, cleanse that, cleanse that nervous system out. I know that's exactly what I've done, and it's very helpful. I really, I can't even tell you how helpful it is. All right, so remember, the moon allows you to see beyond the visible. It brings in that emotional realm and helps to open up, really. It can be intense, it can. But just be prepared by aligning with your deeper part of who you are, align with your spiritual practice, and spend some time doing that for yourself. All right? All right, guys, look for that new episode, episode Wednesday on the Empowered Spirit Show with Winnie Rooster. Excited to share her work with you as well as we open up to the alignment of the cosmic energy, bringing your energies in together, inhaling, pull it back in. Release the tension, release the pressures of starting the week, coming from a place of peace, centering, and gratitude. Opening up with the gratitude, raising the vibration to your spirit. Have a great week. Thanks for joining me. Much gratitude. Namaste.